A Chicago-based law firm is looking to speak with potential victims and witnesses of abuse at WWE. Pintas and Mullins advertises itself as, quote, one of the nation's leading law firms fighting sex abuse and has launched a website at wwesettlements.com. The site states that if you were sexually assaulted, made to feel uncomfortable, or witnessed sexual abuse by Vince McMahon or anyone from WWE, you may be entitled to significant compensation. The firm specializes in personal injury claims and has been in operation for 35 years. Along with Ben Crump Law, Pintos and Mullins also assisted the family of George Floyd following his wrongful death at the hands of a former police officer. CM Punk addressed his injury status at UFC 298 on Saturday. Following the event, CM Punk spoke with Carolina Pierce of TNT Sports backstage at Anaheim's Honda Center. He was asked about his recent surgery return to WWE and WrestleMania 40. When asked about a potential timeline for his return, CM Punk responded that they are looking at about six to eight months. Saying, I'm a clumsy idiot and I tore my left triceps about two years ago, so the right one was jealous. I'm like an old car. I'm like a 72 Nova. You know what I mean? We have to change some parts every now and then. Once we fix up all the parts, the engine is still strong. We'll still be good to go. We're thinking maybe six to eight months, but I'm not really in a rush to get back to compete. I'm in a rush to get healthy. I'm in a rush to get back better and the sooner I do that the better I'll be when I come back. CM Punk was also asked what gave him the itch to return to wrestling to which he said I burnt out 10 years ago. I left. I did some other things. I got to do a lot of cool other stuff and then time heals all wounds. You slowly start to realize that a lot of the stuff that happened 10 years ago doesn't matter. Different people come and go. Different people are in charge now. Maybe I can go back and it kind of fits like an old slipper. It's good to be back and I'm super happy it happened and the way I came back and how big it's been never could have been what it was without all the other crap. So that's just life. I woke up this morning so it's a good day. Punk also commented on The Rock's return to WWE to which he said, I think it's fantastic. 10 years ago, I was the guy that was wrestling The Rock when he came back and now 10 years later, he's coming back and I think the landscape has completely changed. WrestleMania is two nights now, it's even bigger. Him coming back only helps. I always say high tide raises all ships. I'm just happy that even though I'm hurt, I'm still going to kind of be in the mix. My mouth still works, so I'm going to still be able to talk some trash. Stone Cold Steve Austin recently addressed a potential WrestleMania match with CM Punk sometime in the future. During an interview with ESPN to promote WWE 2K24, Austin didn't rule out the possibility, saying, I like Punk and I think Punk likes me. So as long as he can take a Stone Cold stunner, I consider him a good friend, a great guy, and a great wrestler who's had a great career. We'll see. Now, time to catch up on some of the news that occurred over this past weekend. Braun Breaker is now a member of the SmackDown roster. On Friday night, Braun Breaker was revealed as SmackDown's newest acquisition. There was a segment on SmackDown where general manager Nick Aldis signed Breaker to a contract. Breaker will make his SmackDown in-ring debut next Friday on February 23rd. His opponent for the match has not been announced. In storyline, Aldis and Raw general manager Adam Pearce had both been trying to sign Breaker since his appearance in the Royal Rumble. Though he's been called up to the main roster, Breaker is still a champion in NXT. Breaker and Baron Corbin won the NXT tag team titles from Tony D'Angelo and Stax earlier this week. They earned the title shot by winning the 2024 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. The 26-year-old Breaker is the son of Rick Steiner and nephew of Scott Steiner. Breaker held the NXT championship twice since joining WWE in 2021. Naomi and Tiffany Stratton also recently joined the SmackDown roster. Jade Cargill remains a free agent after her Royal Rumble debut and has yet to join Raw or SmackDown. I love Raw. It's a long night, but I love me some SmackDown. I don't know yet. I don't know. I, I want to see who can give me the biggest bid and uh, who can promise me some great matches. Additionally, we now know the full lineup for this year's Men's Elimination Chamber match. Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton, Bobby Lashley, LA Knight, Kevin Owens, and Logan Paul will face off in the Men's Elimination Chamber match in Perth, Australia on Saturday, February 24th. The winner earns a title shot against World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins at WrestleMania 40. Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, Liv Morgan, Tiffany Stratton, and Naomi have all qualified for the Women's Elimination Chamber match. There's only one spot remaining. 
a last chance battle royal on Raw tonight is set to determine the final participant. The Women's Chamber winner will challenge for the Women's World Championship at WrestleMania 40. Rhea Ripley, who currently holds the title, is defending against Nia Jax at Elimination Chamber. The Rock says everyone has big Dwayne energy. After previously teasing something big for February 19th, The Rock revealed a new advertising campaign for his Zoa energy drinks on Monday. A commercial featuring regular people transforming into The Rock after drinking Zoa was included as part of today's release. Additionally, WWE and Fanatics have revealed details regarding WWE World. As first announced on Friday's broadcast of SmackDown, the two companies will partner to present a five-day interactive experience from Thursday, April 4th to Monday, April 8th at the Pennsylvania Convention Center in Philadelphia as part of WrestleMania Week. Tickets to the event will range between $30 and $300. TKO sent out a press release on Monday with information about the types of experiences fans will be offered at WWE World. The press release states, WWE World at WrestleMania will feature a variety of immersive experiences for fans, including a central main stage that will host roundtable discussions with top WWE stars, a WWE 2K24 gaming tournament, live podcast recordings, live memorabilia, and autograph sales through Fanatics Live, and the largest WWE superstore in WrestleMania history. The event will also feature exclusive merchandise, autograph sessions, and meet and greets with WWE superstars and legends, in addition to immersive exhibits and memorabilia honoring WrestleMania's 40-year history. That's a wrap for this episode of The Latest. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.